Okay, so today we're going to have a look at prepayments and we're going to do that with the use of these three T accounts that we've got here. So we're going to label this one prepayments. This here is going to be the bank. And this over here is going to be our profit and loss account. Now, if anybody's confused between what these three headings are, the one in the centre, the bank, is where we always start especially when you're you're first starting out in finance it's best to work out what happens in the bank and then what happens in either the profit and loss or the balance sheet so in this instance what we have is a payment for 1200 pounds that has gone through the bank already so it's already been paid okay now if we look at the invoice the invoice itself is for electricity. So we know it's for £1,200. Now, currently, it is the 31st of March. So we're reporting to the 31st of March. And when you look at the details of this invoice, it says that the invoice is for the 1st of March, 2020 all the way to the 30th of June 2020 okay so there's two ways that you can work this out you can either do it by months or by days but for simplicity I'm going to do this by months so if we start counting we have March April May and June so we've got four months of electricity on this invoice. So what we're going to do, so this is a payment in the bank. So we've got 1200 pounds. And the reason why this is over here is because this is a credit. So it is a payment. So all payments are credits in the bank. Okay. Next, we need to work out what's going into the profit and loss. So your first entry in your profit and loss is your debit of 1200. So these two net off. But we don't want the full 1200 pounds sitting in the profit and loss. What we need to do is prepay out the amount that does not relate to our period. So we all know that a prepayment is something that we've paid for but that we have not yet used. So we don't want to account for the full 1200 pounds in the profit and loss, in the electricity nominal. So what we're gonna do is take this 1200 pounds, we're going to divide it by the months that it relates to, so that's four, and divide it by four. So 1200 divided by four, is 300 pounds now because it's march to june and we're reporting at the 31st of march we've only got one month here so we only want one month over here so what we need to do is take out the remaining value out of the t account and to do that all you need to do is take the original value of 1200 and minus 300 and that is going to give you 900 pounds. So we need to credit 900 pounds from our profit and loss. And because we're prepaying it, the other side of it goes over here in prepayments at 900 pounds on the balance sheet. And I'll put this little BS up here, profit and loss. And then bank is also BS up here. So as you can see, this value over here of 900 and this value over here net off to nil. This value of 1200 and this value of 1200 net off to nil. So you've always got an equal and opposite entry in your accounts. So let's do another example. So let's get our T accounts up.
So I'm going to leave these in the same position as before so as not to create confusion. Okay, so here we have our bank. Here we have our prepayments. And here I'm going to call this one rates. So this is your P&L, your profit and loss, also known as an income statement. Your bank sits on the balance sheet and your prepayment sits on the balance sheet as well. Okay, so this time around we have a payment for £3,000 going in the bank. Okay, so going to write debit and credit above each one of these. So this payment here is a credit in the bank because it's a payment. So we're going to put £3,000 up here and then it's hit our profit and loss at £3,000. Now when we look at the invoice the invoice is for the 1st of March 2020 to the 25th of May 2020. So we don't have months here, we've got days, so we need to work this out in days. So, so if you needed an easy way of remembering, if you take your knuckles and put them together, if you start on your very, very, very far left knuckle and count 31, all your knuckles are 31 days. So January is your first knuckle, so that's 31. Then you've got February with 28 days, which is not a knuckle. March is 31 days, April isn't. May is 31 days, June isn't. July is 31 days. And then if you cross over to your other knuckle, you can see that August is 31 days, which is on your knuckle. September is 30 days, October is 31 days, which is a knuckle, November is 30 days, and December, which also lands on a knuckle, is 31 days. So it's a very easy way to remember if you don't, if you can't off the top of your head remember how many days are in every set month. So if we take January, which is on a knuckle, you've got 31 days. Not January, March. <laughs> Next, we've got April which is 30 days because it doesn't land on a knuckle. And then we've got 25 days. So if we were to add all of that up there, we've got six and then 60, 80, 86 days. So what we need to do is we need to divide this 3,000 pounds by 86 days and then multiply it by the number of days that that's or after the 31st of March. So to do that, just do 86 days minus the 31 days that relate to the period that we're reporting on. So that will give you 55 days. Okay, so take your 3000, divide that by 86, and multiply that by 55 days. So let's see what that gives us. So I'm just going to, so I've got a little calculator over here. So if I do 3,000 pounds divided by 86 times by 55, 191860. So that gives us, put it over here, 1918. Let's just double check that. 1918 pounds 60. So what we need to do is prepay 191860. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove 191860 from our profit and loss over here. And then we're going to stick that over here as a debit in prepayments. So again, you can see this and this net off, and this, and this net off. And it's as simple as that. So let's just do 
one more example. So we've received a bill of £12,500 from the council. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to debit the profit and loss account with £12,500. Okay, now we pay this on the 29th of March 2020. And again, we're going to report to the 31st of March 20. Now, when we look at the invoice dates, this is actually for the 1st of the 2nd, 2020, all the way up to the 31st of January, 2021. So if we do our little timeline over here, we'll do this in a different color as well. Let's do green. Okay, so we've got the full month of February, we've got the full month of March, and that's this year. And then let's do just a brighter blue. Okay, and then we've got April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. So we'll go back to this. So two months relate to our year and 10 months relate to next year. So we need to prepay 10 months worth. So what we need to do, take your 12,500, divide that by 12 for the 12 months and then times that by 10. And that will give us our prepayment figure. Just a word of advice, there's no point in working out that divided by 12 times by the two months because we've already got that sat in our in our um, profit and loss. So if you work that out and then have to work out the prepayment, you're just doubling up on your time trying to work things out. So let's get straight to it. So my little calculator here. So if we do 12,500 divided by 12 times by 10, so that's 10, 4, 1, 6, 67. So, 10, 4, 1, 6, 67. Okay, so over here, we're going to take 10,416 pounds 67 out of the profit and loss, and we're going to prepay it over here. Equally, because we paid this 12,500 in our year, we're going to stick this 12,500 here. Okay, so let's just do one final example. So let's get the T accounts out again. So again, keeping the bank in the middle, which is on the balance sheet, prepayments are on the left, which is on the balance sheet, and then profit and loss. So over here, let's have a gas bill. So. We're going to report to the 31st of March 2020. Now, we receive an invoice on the 1st of March 2020 from the gas supplier and this is for £5,000. Now, when we look at the detail, the invoice is from the 1st of the 3rd, 2020, up until the 22nd of the 7th, 2020. So if we get our knuckles out, 
again, we can see that there are 31 days in March, the 30 days in April, 31 days in May, 30 days in June, and then 22 for July. So if we add all of those up, let's get our handy little calculator out. So we've got 31, 30, 31, 30, 22. So that gives us 100 and... That gives us... I keep doing this. <laughs> So that gives us 144 days. That was 5,000, wasn't it? Okay, so what we need to do is take this 5,000 pounds, divide that by 144 days, and then multiply it by the bit that does not relate to our year. So the bit that doesn't relate to our year is all of this here. And again, to work that out, take your total days minus the days that relate to us. And that gives you 113. So let's work that one out. So we did 5,000 divided by 144 days times by 113. Let's just uh, make sure that's right. <laughs> Not 133, 113. Then we get 392361. Okay, so 392361. So the entries if we go up to the bank here, is we have got £5,000 coming out of our bank. Then we get £5,000 sat in the P&L, which we don't want. So we want to remove £3,923.61 from here. And we want to put £3,923.61 as a prepayment. So when you look at this, what you've actually got left in your profit and loss after all of that is £1,076.39. So that is the cost that is sat in your ledger by the 31st of March 2020. This is what is sat on your balance sheet. Is an amount prepaid and that is what has gone through the bank so you can always see again this and this net off this and this net off so i hope that's been useful to you today i'm going to do more episodes like this but if you've got any questions or you'd like me to go through any specific examples or specific question examples um, that you've been asked to do that you can't quite work out then by all means drop those in the comments below and we can go through them on screen like this otherwise please do hit like if you found this useful and consider subscribing and i shall see you on the next video